morning students hope you all are safe and healthy at home so today we are going to start our first chapter of a computer book that is computer hardware internal and external so without wasting time let's start the chapter so here we should know that what is computer first so computer is an electronic machine that you must be knowing in your last in your previous classes you have learned about computer that it makes our work easier and faster so here in this chapter we'll discuss more points about computer and their hardware clear computer is a machine that basically designed uh, designed with physical parts that are called hardware all the physical part of the computer that is called hardware which can be touched by the user clear in this chapter we will learn about various types of computer hardware especially internal and external hardware so what are the internal and what are the external that we'll see here so the electronic parts that make up a computer are its hardware you can say the physical part of the computer that can be touched by the user it can be uh, moved here and there for example it, it it is a mouse keyboard monitor pen drive hard drive whatever so these are the hardware part of the computer that can be touched and move here and there by the user who is user we are the user the who use the computer they are called users fine so the hardware parts are it can be internal or external so external external hardware are the physical part of the computer which are outside of the cpu cabinet which are not inside the cpu cabinet it is keyboard mouse monitor printer speaker scanner etc clear so these are the external hardware and the internal hardware are which are inside the cpu cabinet for example it can be motherboard it can be ram it can be rom it can be cpu clear cpu is a small device which is inside the cpu cabinet and is mounted on the motherboard fine it is called internal hardware which are inside the cpu cabinet that's why it's it called it is called internal hardware clear so one by one we'll discuss about all the parts of the computer all the physical part of the computer hardware but first we'll see external hardware devices what are the different external hardware devices so you can see in your book also that uh, uh, external hardware devices it is showing uh, with a figure there are external devices which are displayed like monitor keyboard mouse monitor uh, microphone scanner printer modem speaker pen drive etc so one by one we'll discuss about briefly here and you already learned this in the previous classes also what is keyboard what is mouse these are the common devices you must be knowing fine but still here it is in the chapter so we have to discuss so what is keyboard so you you must be knowing keyboard is an input device which is used to give input which is used to give instruction or information to the computer we can type there so it is a it is a keyboard looks like a typewriter fine so here it has keys on the keyboard that is letters numbers and some other function keys are there so that can be used here on the computer clear keyboard is used to type the data you can give information you can type there give instruction to the computer using keyboard so it is also called a input device you can give commands to the keyboard from the keyboard to the computer fine so the next device is monitor monitor is another device it is also a hardware part of the computer and physically it can be touched by the user it which basically it is used to display the result on the monitor screen it shows the result in the form of text or images pictures etc clear it is it looks like a television but it's not television it works like a uh, it looks like television and here it shows and displays the result that you that you uh, works on clear so it comes in different sizes also the it is it is measured in the form of in in the form of diagonal clear diagonally it is measured in previous classes you must have learned about the uh, about this monitor clear so it comes in with different sizes like 16 inches 15 inches 14 inches 17 inches 20 inches 21 inches etc clear so it is a hardware part of the computer which is outside of the cpu cabinet that's why it is called external hardware 
clear the another external hardware is mouse mouse is also known as pointing device you all are knowing it is a pointing device it can be used to move the pointer on the screen uh, which can be uh, used to click or select the data or you can also use to click some uh, icons on the keyboard icons on the monitor screen and computer and mouse controls mo movements of the pointer on the screen clear this mouse pointer is called a cursor that you moves around the screen and the pointer shows on the screen it is also called a mouse pointer which can be moved here and there it has two or two buttons on the uh, mounted over the mouse that is left button and the right button clear along with the small scroll wheel clear so it is a hardware part in external hardware part of the computer which can be touched by the user clear the next device is that is printer so printer is also a hardware device and physically it is it can be touched by the user it is outside of the cpu cabinet it means it is external it is a device that prints the computer generated result on the paper which prints the hard copy of your document clear it it prints the hard copy of your document that you have given command from the computer clear a printer prints in text or graphics or images it it can print the images pictures graphics or text also clear so this is called printer and is a external part of the computer which can be touch and move here and there the another external part of the computer is scanner scanner is a input device you all are knowing in the previous class we have learned about scanner in briefly and scanner is a device that can that can be used to convert convert your document into digital form it converts your hard copy into soft copy you can say clear a computer can understand only digital form so it converts your images pictures or or your documents into 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 digital form so that you can save it on your computer memory and any time it can be open and displayed on the monitor screen clear so it is a scanner it is a external hardware part of the computer which can be physically touched clear so the next device which comes uh, that is speakers so it is a very common device near the computer speakers are basically used to listen to the music and it uh, basically it is you can hear the output generated by the computer in sound form so whatever the music you play from the computer the sound comes from this speaker clear so speaker is the output device and is a another and on the other hand it is also called hardware part of the computer and it is a external hardware part of the computer because it is outside of the cpu cabinet clear the next device comes that is microphone the very common device microphone microphone is also another device basically it is used to record your own voice clear it is a device that allows us to give data and instruction through our voice microphone converts your voice into digital form so that computer can understand it so whatever the things that we used to record we used to uh, record our voice using this microphone and microphone gives takes our instruction our information and stores on the computer's memory clear so that it is a input device or it is also a hardware part of the computer clear this is called microphone microphone are uh, it is it is in your earphones also it is you can see in in your headphones they do get microphone so inbuilt microphones are coming in the laptops also so these are the inbuilt but we are talking about the hardware part which is external part of the computer which can be outside which is outside of the computer clear so this is called microphone the next device that is called pen drive so in your book you can see pen drive and it is uh, very f you must uh, are very familiar with this device that is a small device it can a small device like a stick or you can say it is a storage it is a storage device where you can store a large amount of data a huge amount of data we can store here in the form of text pictures images programs audio videos whatever you want you can store there and it uh, it is also known as data traveler why it is called data traveler 
बिकॉज यू कैन टेक इट एनी वेयर वेल कीपिंग इट इन योर पॉकेट एंड इन योर बैग वे एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन मूव इट इट इज स्मॉल पोर्टेबल डिवाइस एंड इट कनेक्ट विद द यू एस बी पोर्ट वेयर यू इंसर्ट दिस पेन ड्राइव इन द सी पी यू और इन योर लैपटॉप इन विच पोर्ट इट कनेक्ट्स दैट इज कॉल्ड यू एस बी पोर्ट क्लियर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अ पेन ड्राइव और इट इज ऑल्सो हार्डवेयर पार्ट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर विच इज यूज टू इंसर्ट एक्सटर्नली फ्रॉम द कंप्यूटर एक्सटर्नली और आउटसाइड ऑन द कंप्यूटर क्लियर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड पेन ड्राइव द नेक्स्ट डिवाइस कम्स विच इज एक्सटर्नल दैट इज कॉल्ड मॉडम सो मॉडम इज अ डिवाइस इट इज यूज टू यूज टू कनेक्ट योर कंप्यूटर टू द नेटवर्क वेयर इट इज यूज टू ट्रांसफर और ट्रांसमिट योर इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन कंप्यूटर टू अनदर क्लियर द वर्ड कंप्यूटर कम्स विद द टू वर्ड्स दैट इज मॉडम इज यू डिस्क्राइब्स इन टू वर्ड्स लाइक मॉडुलेटर एंड डी मॉडुलेटर वॉट इज मॉडुलेटर एंड डी मॉडुलर विल डिस्कस इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स सो बिफोर वॉट इज मॉडम मॉडम इज अ डिवाइस विच इज यूज टू कनेक्ट टू द नेटवर्क एंड यूजिंग मॉडम यू कैन ट्रांसमिट योर इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर और वन कंप्यूटर टू अनदर कंप्यूटर क्लियर सो मॉडम्स आर मॉडम डज एक्चुअली इन द इट वर्कस इन टू फॉर्म्स लेट सी इट मॉडुलेट्स द डेटा और डी मॉडुलेट मॉडुलेट्स द डेटा सो वॉट इज मॉडुलेशन और डी मॉडुलेशन लेट सी हियर वेन कंप्यूटर सेंड्स समथिंग और सेंड एनी फाइल और इंफॉर्मेशन यूजिंग नेटवर्क ऑन द नेटवर्क थ्रू द कंप्यूटर सो योर डेटा गोज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इट योर डेटा ट्रेवल्स ओवर द टेलीफोन लाइन इट इज कॉल्ड मॉडुलेटर वेन यू सेंड योर डेटा एनी थिंग वेन यू सेंड एनी ई मेल वेन यू सेंड एनी फाइल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर वेन इट इट गोज द प्रोसेस इज नोन एज मॉडुलेशन एंड वेर इट इज गोइंग टू बी रिसीव्ड वेर एवर इट इज गोइंग टू बी रिसीव्ड बाई सम वन दैट टाइम इट कन्वर्ट्स इन टू इन टू सो इट कन्वर्ट्स इट कन्वर्ट रिसीव डेटा इन टू अ फॉर्म ऑफ कंप्यूटर कैन दैट कंप्यूटर कैन अंडरस्टैंड मॉडर्म विल कन्वर्ट रिसीव्ड डेटा इन टू अ फॉर्म दैट कंप्यूटर कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड इट इज कॉल्ड डी मॉडुलेशन क्लियर इन अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज वेन यू सेंड समथिंग टू फ्रॉम द कंप्यूटर एनी फाइल और एनी थिंग थ्रू अ नेटवर्क it is called modulation and when it is received by the user in the another end when it received by the user somewhere else when he is receiving it uh, when it is opening when comp- that computer understands that is called demodulation clear so uh, this is called modulation and demodulation uh, if you still have any doubt in this so we'll discuss it it's once more don't no problem so don't worry about this so we'll see once again if you have problem in your live classes also or once again if you have any problem we'll create one more video on modem if you still have any issues clear so uh, these are the, these are the different called different hardware part of the computer which are external clear the internal parts that we will discuss later on very soon in the next classes so that you have to learn those external internal devices and we will discuss about that you still if you have any doubt in external devices you can write down somewhere and when whenever it is required you can send me and you can ask any time while sending the message to me on the group clear so the next uh, topic internal hardware devices that you discuss that you learn one at once at home and we will discuss later on in the next video till then take care keep studying goodbye